Good morning. This is uh, July 14th, uh, 2013, and uh, uh, here's another update of my uh, harvest. I just can't wait to harvest my potatoes because uh, it's just the time for me is limited. So I said, I figured, you know what? Let me just grab them, and I'm glad I did because. Uh, I'm glad I harvested them because uh, the the moles in the garden is just taking over. I know we have Thumper, our cat, uh, taking care of him, but, uh, you know, get rid of him. But what happened was I think he can't get into the area where it's so hard for him to grab the, the moles. And uh, so he can't uh, get rid of them for that time moment. So they ate my potatoes. Uh, so I have few left. And I harvest, uh, this is like about 18 seeds that I put in the ground. And I at least, oh boy, this is pretty heavy. I would say I have, uh, I harvested at least 20 pounds out of that 18 seeds that I put in the ground. So not bad at all. I have, we eat a lot and I give away to, uh, to, to a few families and uh, so this time I just want to take a video out of this so that uh, letting you know that uh, the potatoes and the beans are really very good to, to one another. I don't know for some reason this is the first time I harvested a lot of potatoes out of 18 seeds. Uh, it's like almost like really literally like a pound each of the plants uh, or more actually. If the um, moles did not eat half of it. I could I could have harvested more, but what I did was I just put you know on the ground I put the um, ashes from our stove inside, and uh, manure I just mix them together like that and uh, that's it. And I uh, of course I just sprinkle a little bit of Epsom salt. I forgot about that. I don't know for some reason the Epsom salt is really good on the soil when it comes to potatoes and tomatoes and eggplant and um, uh, peppers and stuff like that. Epsom salt is excellent. I think it's because of the magnesium. So it's very, very good. You know, I just with 18 seeds, I would say a, a two tablespoons or two to three tablespoons of uh, uh, Epsom salt uh, uh, applied it on the uh, right in the base of the uh, the see uh, I just actually just mix it right in, in the soil and it should be fine you know so here you go this is the harvest of uh, the partner of my potatoes the uh, beans and I got to tell you I cannot wait to cook them and of course I have one zucchini a few zucchini actually I just get one there today and uh, the rest is still not that great big so I just it's not that big yet so I just leave it there at least I would say I have maybe 15 to 20 it's growing right in the garden there but I'm just gonna let it go for now until it's ready to be harvested to be you know anyway so this is it that's my update of my uh, potatoes it's just pretty good to have them you know I know why should I put them in the ground where you can buy them cheap there's nothing like garden potatoes trust me oh you cook them uh, it's just so fresh the flavor and no one can compare the flavor of the garden potatoes I don't know I just love them like that but anyway it's, this is early in the morning right now and oh, the rain last night I think so lots of my flowers uh, I was just cleaning up right now I just leave that stuff on the ground because I'm ready to put them in the compost pile so I'm just taking another video here for my update in my garden here I just can't help it because I just make sure I have memory of my garden here you know so and I know I have a few already but I just you know, it's just for fun I'm doing this for fun and it's my hobby so I love my hobby gardening fishing you know uh, cooking singing <laughs> you name it uh, keeps me uh, in uh, a way of, a way of trouble you know so keep myself uh, occupied do things like this and at the same time and try to keep myself healthy and my family if they let me t if they let me but uh, my kids let me but not all of them does but anyway this is my update here 
and my peas are I'm harvesting the rest of the peas saving the seeds so I can replant it next uh, this fall so I grab a lot I harvest it a lot and I still have a lot of, but my cucumbers are growing I harvested a lot of fruit already but there's a lot coming see it's small still but that's all right I kind of neglect them for a while because I was not here I was traveling a lot to our uh, to our new and uh, our uh, new place to look at the cucumbers growing and uh, they're everywhere now but it's not really the highlight of them right now to to have fruits once they're really like ready to fruit like fruiting fruiting you'll see a lot of them coming up but right now it's just few because they're starting so I just spotted the the fruit of this uh, oh here the peas look this is mature now you know but we eat a lot already out of this out of this peas there's so many we have so much that uh, you get tired of eating it up, uh, yeah. <laughs> at the end, you know, you're like, ah, oh, enough of this, it's <laughs> too much, uh, cucumber, I mean, uh, snap, it's sugar snaps and beans and stuff, but, uh, but it's so good, you know, it's really, really good, so most of this I'm just gonna, like that, I'm going to get the seeds and save the seeds and uh, replant it, replant it uh, in the fall, uh, I would say. Actually, it's good now. May oh yeah, actually this week, but I guess it's not ready. So uh, whatever, you know, next year I will do it. A lot. But look, this is the update of my tomato in the greenhouse. Uh, still growing like crazy. See, um, I have my remember that better boy. I have. This, I said uh, I took a video. Uh, uh, the last time and uh, look at that's the fruit uh, this is uh, let me see it again that's the fruit of my bitter boy right there okay and of course a lot of fruits on this uh, cherry tomatoes here the this is a determinate one that uh, see that one is ripening already okay so that's the determinate one and the one on the top is the uh, indeterminate so but there are big tomatoes this is, uh, I don't know the names of this, but I, I would say they're bitter boy, a lot of them. Bip steak, actually. So I don't know if I can have them before we leave. It looks like I'm not going to have the fruit. But I did put cucumbers also at the end of my greenhouse here. That's the piccolino. A good uh, cucumber to grow inside the house for hydroponics. So I was hoping I get the seeds, but I guess it's just not making it so look at that this is the uh, cherry tomatoes indeterminate which is taking over now almost to the top of my greenhouse here but uh, I was telling you it's just a success for me to see this and so I'm so happy that uh, they did they grow really well so again the mixture of the uh, soil is very good you gotta know how to mix mix them and I'm gonna once I settled in my in our new place, I'm gonna really do a tutorial on that because everybody grow their own plants different ways, and I tell you whatever works for me, I will stick to it. I, it's a lot of experimenting. I've been gardening for like I would say 17 years now, and it took me a long time to figure out how to to grow stuff uh, uh, the the proper way. This is even just a starting point for me here to grow this uh, thanks to a bar, uh, MHP a gardener on YouTube and also Larry Hall and the guy the Garden of Eden uh, guy he's definitely good you know so I can experiment between everything that they do and I will and I will try to see what works and this time I see it seems to me it's good I mean the hydroponic is really really good you know i i see the result of it it's like almost the same as the mixture of the soil in the pot like this inside the greenhouse like i'm trying to get let me just sit down here for a moment yeah the mixture of the soil here and the ground here the soil 
and the hydroponics combined together the hydroponics nutrients combined together it seems to me works really well of course I put the Epsom salt in there in the uh, you know in, in the soil and the, it's just really incredible the result of it is I don't see any fruit much because uh, it's just starting but there is fruit coming what I'm trying to experiment is like like image speed gardener he got it really good you know he he got a lot of fruits you know in his greenhouse but yet again his greenhouse is really yes you know set up mine is just like an experiment for now so someday if I uh, have enough money I will uh, build a, a nice rice right I mean a, a nice greenhouse like that and uh, grow my vegetables like that you know but right now so far it's working for me so anyway so this is the update um, again you know I'm gonna do a tutorial of what I do here whatever is the success in my garden I would try to do the uh, video tutorial for that so that you can learn you know how to do it uh, my way different ways uh, they have people do a lot in YouTube a lot of different ways to grow their stuff but uh, I'm gonna try to experiment different ways and see what's gonna happen anyway that's my update today um, whew, I cannot believe summer is almost over but I'm really sad you know to leave the island here I love the water i love to go fishing here i love the oceans and i'm gonna miss it because we are moving to the place where it's not really in the oceans there's lakes and stuff like that but uh, it's not the same as the oceans i grew up in the island of the philippines where every where uh, less water is everywhere we have like seven thousand islands in the philippines and i've been through uh, different places in the Philippines travel a lot and I tell you there's nothing like it you know it's I miss it so much but someday you know I would like to go back there but you know in God's time you know I can't have everything but meanwhile I have to appreciate what I have now and enjoy it and do the best I can and be content of what I have because every day that I have aha, it's a blessing you know everything that we have is a blessing every day even even the trials even things that we go through in life but once you have a, po a positive attitude in life your prosper your uh, your outlook in life change and to me I think it's better to enjoy life now than be miserable every day you know but it will help to distress you it will help to enjoy life at the same time and it will help to be a, a, a solution to your neighbors to your family you know if you're happy every day now I would say you know not every day because don't yeah don't get me wrong we have to go through a lot of trials every day you know every day is a new day every day is a new need it's how we uh, look at it but we cannot do it without the help of the uh, Creator who gives us wisdom through his word the Bible you know so that's just my opinion that's how I live my life and I never regret my life now than I have was before because what I have what I was I was a wreck I mean wicked as can be and now I'm changed because of the Lord who changed my life. I, I cannot deny uh, my, my life story. Uh, why am I telling you this? But because if you want sanity in life, if you want peace in life, life, only God can give you that. Only Him. Only can, Him can give you that peace that the world around us cannot give. They might give us happiness here from there and you know enjoy here and there but not that peace and that joy that God can give you it's just totally different but anyway 
I'm just sharing that to you because that's what I am and uh, you know it's good to share about what's good in life and what's what is better me I'm aiming for the better life better where I can you know just go through with in life with a help because I know I can't do it you know I really need help from someone who's greater than me and and I know who's greater than me not myself or any you know or around me but the creator who created my life is the one is greater than me so I just want to throw that out there because I know some of you are struggling out there and I you know I know that and I experienced that in my life and um, things change when you humble yourselves and look for better life so I choose following God and I will never regret because my life with him is just incredibly different and it's going to the right directions change my life every day you know so anyway well here I am again in my garden I will give you another update next time uh, I know that it will lead to ripening the fruits that is out in here already it's still not ripening so I will wait for that if I'm still here very good otherwise I let Miss Angel and Chris enjoy the fruit of my labor here <laughs> and I don't mind you know it hurt it, it's sad because I'm gonna miss my garden but you know life goes on you know and I can start all over again over there I know it's gonna be more work but you know what hey we have to work until we die no matter what you know this is just part of our lives now so look look at that tomatoes I can't wait to pick that red one there I would say I give it three days and then I'll save the seeds and keep it with me because those in those determinate uh, cherry tomatoes are excellent you know I looks like the disease they beat the disease look it's just very good and again I'd rather put my tomatoes in the greenhouse because I for 17 years that I've been gardening my tomatoes just never uh, right the first three years is excellent but then after that there's blights the seeds here and this is die just I'm tired of it but here right now look it looks just like flourishing to me so it's working anyway bye for now and I will see you soon okay well take care of yourself and uh, take times to take your time and give yourself a break you know enjoy life and just do something you know do something no one can help you except yourself and of course get help from the heaven above who's the one who can give it to you the creator who's there waiting for us all the time lovingly so okay bye bye